Massive audience pop here for Hideo Tokoro. We are set for three by five. The Dream versus Sengoku series currently has Team Sengoku leading the Dream Team 3 1. Can Tokoro make it 3 2 or will the last minute replacement Kim edge them ahead 4 1? No extra round in case of a draw. Daisuke Nito is here ringside, former world's boxing champion, actually lost his title in this very arena only a couple of months ago in a huge ratings bonanza on Japanese television that was immediately followed up by K1 Max from the Budokan, if I remember correctly, when Masato defeated Kawajiri. Michael Chevello, Guy Mezga, and Mayhem Miller with your ringside. You know, this is kind of a hard one to call because we don't really know a lot about Kim. <laughs> Most of these guys we know tremendous about, tremendous a lot, uh, a lot about, but not Kim. Yeah, yeah, Kim is definitely a question mark. You know, uh, I'm not counting him out. You know, he, he's he is part of the uh, North Korean special forces. So <laughs> who knows what they're teaching him over there? I've got to say, I like the Eddie Munster haircut as well on yeah, Kim. Absolutely, certainly works for him. Sokuro's got some very good striking on very underrated leg kicks and quick hands. Hideo Tokoro can take enormous punishment. Had a good run in the featherweight Grand Prix, lost in the semi-final round. Maybe produced the fight of 2009 against Abel Cullen back at Dream 9 at the Yokohama Arena. That was a great fight. Great fight. High knee from Tokoro. Wilds uppercut almost took out a low-flying aircraft. And Kim just recomposes himself. Inside thigh oh, kick from Tokoro caught him. Looked like an inside center. groin <laughs> kick to me. Bit of scrotal connection there for Hideo Tokoro. <laughs> Daisuke Nato once again, the man who he lost the title to, Kameda, is also in the house here at the St. Thomas Super Arena. All the stars of entertainment and sporting industry in Japan have certainly turned out for this New Year's Eve extravaganza that is Fields Dynamite. Well, it's a nice little Jap Japanese welcome to the Korean fighter. Oh, Ooh. little testicular hello. <laughs> yeah, they he'll, call that a Texas handshake. He'll be auditioning for the Soul Boys Choir after that one. Given a, as much as five minutes to recover should he need it here, John Man Kim. As we said, looking to get the fourth victory for Team Sengoku. Why do they flash so much to Daisuke Nato? Why are they associating a groin strike with the former hey. world's boxing champion? When I look at that face, all I think about is groin. <laughs> yeah. All right, he's done airing out his crotch, and let's get it on. Of course, Hideo Tokoro did travel and live with Taisuke Nato in Hokkaido. So there is a very close connection to them. Still, though, a bit of gratuitous overshowing of Taisuke Nato just to fill in during that break. We recommence here in the first round. Kim looks tentative, you know, uh, he's not very uh, very active, not pushing forward. He did take the fight on short notice, you know. Uh, Ooh, big overhand right there from Kim. Telegraphed, he, he saw it though. Tokoro keeping the gloves up nice and high. Right hand lead from Tokoro, gets the leg swept out. Ooh, a nice up kick, heel kick to the top of the five while he's on his back. And like a spring, back onto his great, feet. Great scrambling to get back on his feet after that slip. Big outside leg kick, and he might have taken a bit of a thumb to the eye, but I think he's okay button. here, Tokoro. Wow! Yeah, he rolled into that, looking for a submission attempt on the left leg. In all my years of grappling, I don't think I've seen that <laughs> maneuver. That was great. Big outside thigh kick again, Shin meets thigh. Right hand lead from Tokoro, confounding Kim at the moment. Step up knee. Flipping left hand from Kim. I like how Takoro is mixing it up, going high, low, <laughs> upside down. I mean, he's doing a <laughs> lot of different, you know, direct, like such a scrambling fight so far. 
Changing levels, one of his specialties, Hideo Tokoro. You never know what's coming next as he throws the right hand off the jaw again. Yeah, and, and you know, he's not throwing very many combinations, but he's throwing and landing, and, and landing in the good spots and moving out of the way. Tokoro, who made his pro debut back in 2001, just gets out of range of the wild left hook of Kim. He's carrying his hands a little low here. Tokoro would not be without throwing in a, a head kick here and there. We've seen him do it before. Ooh. Good right hand. Whoa. Oh, and he eats the right hand from Kim. Now the Korean comes forward. There was a lot of punches that didn't land. Oh, beautiful knee, though. Jaw cracker from Hideo Tokoro. Ouch. Kim has come to fight. He's got nothing to lose, really. Muay Thai clinch here from Tokoro. Pulling the head down for the meet and greet. Oh, oh he's going oh. to look at us. Okay. Flying triangle. Out that triangle. That was Coral. pretty awesome. Yeah, no, that that was was and it looks like he's it. locking it up. It's over. No, arm bar. Arm bar. Arm bar. Arm bar. Switches arm bar. to the arm bar. It's Can it be over, over now? Surely Tokoro's going to sub in here. Oh but no, God. Kim holding on. Look at the heart on the Korean. Amazing resilience Will not from Kim. Stop. He's keeping, you know, he's actually keeping him locked up so he can't straighten his back out. That's great. That is great. Crafty, crafty maneuver. That is really great. Sokoro unable to extend the arm and get the arm bar here. Look at that. Kim That's just insane. holding on. All these better is if he had a case of gas and then he'd definitely have an advantage. <laughs> Hideo Tsukuro, I thought Kim was done for. What resolve, though, from the Korean? And Tsukuro just trying to pry wow. him loose. There's Get blood all over the bicep here of Kim. Tsukuro's going to go for the armbar again. Oh, oh my God. He's got it, surely. Tremendous display. Surely. That was awesome. The pain. That was the pain on Kim's face. He no, he's okay now. He's elbow out, yeah. He's okay now. Smeared with blood, he will not quit. Kim, Kim is showing some heart here. Goes inside the guard, this Kim. A phenomenal stuff from the Korean. He'll kick from Tokoro. Now Tokoro goes inside Holy the guard. Smokes. Stand and ovate the sheer heart of Jong Man Kim. Uh, this has been this has been the most exciting fight so far. Great display of technique. Yes. Excellent. That was an excellent round. I mean, you know, uh, Kim had some. Look at this. Yeah, I've never through. seen anything like that. I've yeah. seen I've seen guys go into that, but not anything like that. That was phenomenal. Here's this the, knee. Watch this knee. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh man, yeah. that must that's gotta hurt. And the jump into the triangle. Nicely yes. done. You rarely see that. I mean that's just I mean, yeah, such rarely. a nice technique. Me? And then I thought he was gone here. And then this was a slick arm bar. I mean, couldn't believe he got out of that. Yeah, I, you know, he did a good job of following them around so that way he didn't get caught in a bad, bad position. But, hey, man, really good. How about grabbing his opponent's head and holding it there so he can't straighten his back out and straighten the arm out? That was unbelievable. It's inventive. I'll give you that. That was crazy. Hideo Tsukuro. Going for two armbar submission attempts in the opening round on Jungman Kim. And that's the toughness of being in the Korean Special Forces. Only a couple of days notice for Jong Man Kim. He could have easily have tapped out and said, OK, I've earned my little paycheck. I came, I fought, and I'll celebrate the new year. But he's here for survival, and he may try and go for a victory. Try and take Team Sengoku to 4-1. Well, I, I, I there's say, no doubt. There's no doubt in my mind that he is trying to trying for the win. I mean, you wouldn't. Yeah. You would give up and not try for the everything for the win. Right yeah, I mean, he could have easily tapped out those arm bars, or you know, he is. He's not, not looking for a way out, man. He's looking yeah. for a way to win this fight. Talk it off. Has to be wondering what he can do now. Slings the outside lead thigh. Well, he needs to stay focused because you know, guys like guys like Kim fight like this. They break your heart. And if you don't stay focused, he'll break your heart and then win that way, you know. Just make you want to quit because you can't do anything. You lose focus. Skoro, looking disciplined here. I mean, he's still using his jab effectively and still controlling the ring. Keeping his hands up and, and good movement, yeah. 
Nice heat from Chokoro. That didn't feel good. Kim may be sitting a right hand of his own, just readjusts again. Sokoro edging forward, gloves up nice and high. Snappy jab from Kim, couldn't get past the double forearms. Yeah, very, very good, uh, very good defense from Tokoro. Looks like Kim's right eye is swelling too. Uh, I mean, his face is pretty bad for the wear. Let me tell you, uh, he, you know, from where I can see, yeah, he, uh, he's peppered all over his face. Yeah, looks like that eye's swelling up good. Left hook from Kim. Takes another leg kick. Got to start checking those John Man Kim. He's going to be very sore if this one goes into the third round. He's already very sore. Finding his range with a jab here at Tokoro. Little look to take it back down. One of the most crazy submission artists in all the world of mixed martial arts, Hideo Tokoro. Gut punching knee. Gets backed off again with the right hand from the Korean. Two minutes 40 on the clock here in the second of three. Kim looks like he's getting a little tired, you know, I mean, I mean, because this has been a pretty good pace so far, you know, that first round. Lancing right hand from Jung Man Kim, good stiff jab, and again from Kim. Cracks away again to the lead by, Kim must have heard me, he checked that one. Yeah, what I think it, it is, is Kim's getting used to the Takoro's punching a little bit, then kicking. Yeah. yeah, so he's getting used to that combination. And Takoro needs to change it up now. Maybe, maybe focus more on the hands. Under two minutes remaining, here in the second round. You know, Takoro is really is making a bite for those feints, but then not effectively landing anything afterwards, you know? Ooh, good right hand from Kim, one of the best shots of the fight so far. That was Kim's best punch so far. Good counter, yeah, they both hit each other pretty good left hands there. Outside fight kick from Tokoro, jabs again. Nice long arms of Hideo Tokoro. Tokoro needs it, yeah, I was about to say, he needs to change the angle up of his kick, and he just did with the front kick, yeah. He needs to do a little bit more of that, and then he can go back to that leg kick. So Goro's starting to play it safe. I mean, I, I think he knows that he really cinched up that first round and is playing a little safer this round. Kim on the back foot. Ooh, they throw right hands, and it was Kim who drew the short straw. Sokoro again with the jab. Flash of leg kicks, both going for the inside thighs. Tokoro step up knee so quick. That, that, knee, that knee has been effective in this fight so far. I mean, nothing devastating, but, but they're chipping away at his face layer. <laughs> yeah. Good right hand from Kim. Charging across the ring and a bit of fancy footwork to get out of dodge for hitting on soccer. 35 seconds on the clock. To the left hand right on that that right eye of uh, Kim. Yeah, I mean, we've just watched Kim get uglier as this night yeah. progresses. Yeah, he's getting just tagged with those sharp punches like that. It's going to cause the face to swell up. He wasn't that good looking to begin with. Body shot there from Tokoro. I don't know, you say he looked kind of like Eddie Munster. <laughs> Another type of kid I'd like to have. <laughs> Tokoro looking maybe to set the right leg here. Thought about switching up. I really think, you know, this high hand guard from Tokoro is really what's making the difference. It, his, his hands are so high that anytime the punches come, they land on the forearms mostly. Taisuke Naito, the former WBC lightweight boxing champion of the world, supporting Hideo Tokoro, his longtime training mate and good friend. Beautiful right hand, best shot that Kim has thrown at so far guy how do you see it after two uh i think uh Koro has it has it hands down he's planned the better techniques first round was uh was very decisive this round uh you know i think he kind of took off a little bit uh, you know jason said something about you know he seemed like he was kind of taking it easy kind of he, he was but he's he's also doing damage just sticking that jab in there and he easily you know i won that that, that round too yeah i mean so look He's so confident right now, he's not even taking a corner break. Just walking around the ring during his break. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive.
We are ready for the third and final round. In the odds socket or the favorite, minus 200. Jong Man Kim at plus 160 on only a couple of days' notice. I think our director has fallen in love with Dusty Nato. He's getting more face time than the two fighters in center ring. <laughs> third and final. Ooh, a left hook off the bell from Sokoro. Wants to use that very impressive jab of his. And he does that. Good outside leg kick. Looks for a switch up round kick. Didn't go for it. Jab again from Sokoro. Gets good extension on that lead hand. Jumping there. But he also took a good right hand. Got punched. Kim is not out of this fight. Yeah, you know, I, I think Kim really came to fight. On short notice, he came to fight for sure. Yeah, it doesn't look like he had much in, in, in the gas tank and, you know, not much of a game plan. He's he's fighting valiantly, but he's he's definitely losing this this fight. Outside thinking from Tokoro. Wild right hand. He, he doesn't seem to have an answer, uh, you know, for what Takara is doing to him. Well, you know, there's a lot of movement from Takara, and he's stepping off to the side constantly. You know, it's hard for it's hard for Kim to put anything together, especially looking at as fatigued as he does. Yeah. Ooh, Ivan right and Sokoro goes to the canvas, gives his back. Here comes Jungman Chin. Has the tide turned in the third round? Yeah, it has. Rolling, choking. Amazing. Kim is going for it. Wants this, to put the hooks in. This is crazy. He came to fight. Unbelievable scene here in the third round. Can Jong Man Kim pull off an enormous upset? Sokoro trying to turn back in. Once again, Kim takes his back. He's riding a little bit high here. Could yeah, fall he's... off. Up oh, Sokoro looks to be out of danger. In half guard now, Sokoro. Oh Nato out of his seat. Tokoro looking to pass and go to side control. He's there now. And he works the knees. He pins that right arm. Now it's danger for Kim. He can finish the arm bar right there. I smell a submission attempt coming up. He's got an arm bar right there. If he can straighten out that arm. Could be a finish right here. Here it comes. No, he's, he lost his position there, though. Yeah. A little sloppy. He really had that was should have been an easy arm bar. Well, I mean to be fair, he just had got dropped. <laughs> That's and true. Beat on there for a minute. So uh, I'm surprised he's doing anything right now. Really, really phenomenal from both athletes, man. Really, really great. Yeah, really well, great we, we were wondering if Kim was did have anything left, and he certainly did. Must have hurt us. Kim takes the arm out. Back he got onto inspired. his feet. He got inspired by our. <laughs> I didn't know he spoke English. <laughs> Up kick to the thigh there from Hideo hey, Special Forces. <laughs> I'm beginning to like this guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> it's growing on you, my hair. Yeah. Oh, well, his face is growing. He's swelling. <laughs> <laughs> By the time he gets out of here, it'll be twice the size he keeps eating those left hands. Well, Takoro doesn't need to be throwing sloppy left hands like that because he cut caught with another right hand if he does. Oh, wow, left hook there from Takoro. You know, that, that punch has been repeated over and over again. Has not landed once. <laughs> you know, I, he's missed with that left hand so many times. That left hook, you mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah his left hook yeah. every time he's missed with it. John Man Kim had just resetting himself. Thought about the back leg kick. Okay, takes a momentary breather. And Sokoro pounces on him, punishes him. That's what you call a club punch right there. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, two crow hops and a wallop. Sokoro cuts off the ring, steps across, goes to the body. Kim wants to turn it into oh, nice. a PS6 brawl. He's nice. breathing heavily here, John Man Kim. Has he got enough fuel in the tank for 57 more seconds? Oh. And the heart of a lion. No doubt about that. Uh, you know, I, that, that left hook, he finally landed it. And boy, <laughs> was it big. <laughs> yeah, you're not kidding. Jab two. And he misses. Double and he misses. Hook, <laughs> right cross. And Kim still fires back. Gets an intestinal fortitude. Kim won't go down. Knee to the 
midsection folded him in half like a piano accordion. Passes. Leon Belly aggressive position. Melt. But still can't get it on. John Man Kim just spoiling. Mount position from Tokoro. Pins the arm again. Schoolyard beat. Wow, oh, yeah. what a fight. Fight of the night so far. Amazing fight. Tokoro produces yet another fight of the night. Yeah, this was a great fight. I'll tell you something, but Tokoro did a great job, but it took a, a valiant effort from Kim to make this fight interesting. And yeah. he would not quit. He kept going for it. I mean, just fantastic. You know, I, I'm glad to see that he come off a, you know, look at that one, the, uh, a right hook, left hook, it just drops him. You know, it, it's great to see the, the guy come in on short notice Boom. and put on such a damn great performance. I'll be, I'll be glad to see him fight again. Yeah, he did an excellent job. Excellent job, like you said. So I, I don't think there's uh, any mystery on this one here. Yeah, yeah, no mystery at all, unless. Unless the uh, North Korean Council is on the judges' box, <laughs> uh, I think we got a solid win for Takoro. Yeah, without a doubt. All right, we we'll listen up for the uh, judges' decision. Takoro. Yeah, it was no surprise. Good job there. Excellent fight, though. Like you said, like you said before, earlier, great job. It takes.